LEX 18 News Now. And thank you for joining us for LEX 18 News Now. I'm Chris Goodman, Lexington Police investigating an overnight hit and run involving a pedestrian. Officials say that crash happened shortly before 2.30 this morning at Vine and Upper Streets downtown. They say a man in his 20s was in the crosswalk when he was hit by a car that then took off. We're told that car is a black Chrysler 3000, likely with front end damage. No word yet on the victim's condition. Police say a Danville man visiting his family in Polk County, Florida, shot and killed his nephew before turning the gun on himself. WFLA in Tampa reports Ricky Stipe fatally shot James Hanks and shot and wounded Hanks' wife Kathleen after an argument. Kathleen is in the hospital in unknown condition. Stipe's wife, Carolyn, was also hospitalized with chest pains after witnessing what happened. A Powell County inmate who escaped over the weekend is back in jail today. The jailer tells us 32-year-old Christopher York was working in the jail's kitchen when he and another inmate took out the trash. They say York used the opportunity to run away. The jailer says York was being held at the jail as he waited for a spot at a rehab center. Last night, York was captured and taken back to the Powell County Detention Center. There will be no new newscast today, but be sure and celebrate your new year with the 129th Annual Tournament of Roses Parade live this morning on NBC at 1130. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast coming up next. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Wave two of our Arctic cold snap came barreling in over the weekend. Even had a few snow showers last night. Put down a hint of some light powdery accumulation there. And look what's happening today. We're only going to be around the mid to upper teens for highs. And that doesn't even count in the wind chill, which has been pretty brutal and will continue to be so. So temperatures in Lexington have been at or below freezing for seven straight days. Last time we were above freezing was Christmas Eve. And we are on the verge of a potential two week run of that because we're not going to get above freezing anytime soon. Our longest stretch was 18 days in a row back in the late 70s. But our coldest lows, to put it into perspective, December, January, and February, you've got to go down to around 20 below. Coldest all-time low, 21 below in January of 1963. We've had single-digit lows the past couple of mornings, and uh, that last uh, low down, or sub-zero at least, was two below back in March of 2015. We're getting close this morning. Wind chill advisory through 1 o'clock tomorrow, so that wind chill is just going to remain potentially dangerous. And there's really, again, not much relief in sight. We may get up to around freezing in early next week. Uh, so just hunker down, turn up the heat, and uh, just use caution, especially if you work outside in these kind of conditions.